Field game one win performance. Starting on the road and starting with an opening victory on the road to reclaim home court advantage. Is there a similarity to the three and what does it just say about this team that you come in to the other team's house and take away home court advantage right away? We're just playing really good basketball. More than anything, we're staying together through the good and through the bad. Um, it is a game of runs and we can talk to one another. I think that's what you know, ultimately makes me smile is the fact that when things aren't going our ways, we can look at each other eye to eye and uh, know when somebody's messing around and we can fix it. Um, I feel like we did a, a really good job on the defensive end. We shared the ball on offense, made some shots, got a win, but um, that's not a, enough for us and we want to get another one in two days. Jimmy, through the years, you've always taken so much pride in how much work you poured into your game but you never want to put a limit on how high you can go. In your opinion, though, given the consistency of where you're at right now, do you think this is the highest level that your game has been at to date? I don't think so. Um, I really feel as though with anything in life, if you get the opportunity and you have the belief that my teammates, um, my coaches, um, you know, Coach Pat, <clears throat> ownership have in me to, you know, kind of lead the charge along with, with Bam right now. Anything is possible. Like, I'm playing at an incredible level because they're allowing me to do so. They're not putting a limit on my game. They're trusting me with the ball on a defensive end. Um, and I think that's what any basketball player wants. That's what anybody wants out of life is just to be wanted, um, be appreciated, and just let you go out there and rock. Hey. Hey, Jimmy, uh, Marcus Smart had 10 assists in the first half. As well as he was playing, were you kind of surprised not to see him as much in the second half? Uh, nah. <clears throat> I think he played well all game long. He was making all the right plays, and they made a lot of shots. He defended ex incredibly well, made shots too. Um, I think they'll you know, watch film and, and see that they probably have to utilize him more. I would. Um, I got a lot of respect for that guy, for what he does on the um, – defensive side of the ball, and for sure what he does on the offensive side of the ball because he plays his role to the T. Um, so we're going to have to lock in on that because 10 and a half is some pretty good basketball. Right. And then, uh, you know, coming coming off of Tatum had a pretty big game in game seven. Um, you know, what are some of the little things you, you guys try to do to throw him off his game, make him uncomfortable? Challenge, um, all shots. We try to keep him off the free throw line, you know, he shot 11 of those. Um, we reached a little bit too much, um, but that's what, you know, MVP caliber players do. They do everything incredibly well. Um, he made shots, he got to the free throw line, hit the three, mid post transition, all of that. Um, we will be better next game. Um, and he may make shots. You know, you, you can't get down on that. Um, you got to know that we play defense the right way, and we're going to keep doing that. Jimmy, what does it feel like for your confidence in momentum when you see them start to crack a little in the third quarter, you hear their fans start to boo a bit? What, what does it do for, for you guys to, to, to hear that and, f and feel that going forward? Absolutely nothing, honestly. Um, we're a confident group. Whether we're up 10, down 10, we're not too worried about the opposing team. I think whenever you do that, you get lost in um, what got you where. And we were so worried about us all year long and how we could be the best version of ourselves that if we're up 10, down 10, we still need to play our style of basketball. We still need to be together, share the ball, get stops. Booing, no booing. Um, we got to worry about the Miami Heat. Hey, Jimmy, when you're going like you were tonight, scoring and then also on defense with the steals, how does one side of the floor impact the other? How do they uh, cooperate for you? I would like to think that I just play hard. Um, I try to make the right plays on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, probably than that, I shot a couple bad ones. Like I said, my, my teammates and my coaches, they allow me to do that. On the defensive side of the ball, it's a lot of energy, um, but I'm not the only one that's doing it. So I feed off of my teammates diving on the floor, taking charges, getting back on defense, just like they um, feed off of my energy on the defense. It just so happened that I happened to get my hand on the basketball and get some steals. But um, as long as you play hard, I really believe that really good things happen majority of the time. Jimmy, I would imagine that you don't feel like an eight seed. You in the heat, that you don't. This doesn't feel like 
you're climbing mountains and knocking off favorites and, and all those kinds of things? Uh, that's a question? Well, I, it's the start of a question. Oh, okay. Well, what's the question? <laughs> Just the, the, the question is, um, how, do, how does this feel to you guys, what you have done so far? And if you go back all the way to that night against Chicago and the play-in, did you think then that something like this would be possible? Damn right. I did. Damn right. We did. Um, and the best part about it is we still don't care what none of y'all think. Honestly speaking, um, we don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. We know the group of guys we have in this locker room. Um, we know that Coach Bo um, puts so much confidence and belief in each and every one of us. Coach Pat as well. And so our circle's small, but this circle got so much love for one another. Um, we pump constant confidence into everybody. And we go out there and we hoop. We play basketball the right way, knowing that we always got a chance. Thanks, Thanks For sure. Thank you.